Hello everyone, Reza here. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your own custom Copilots by using Microsoft Copilot Studio. With a brand new refreshed look and a new conversational driven experience, we can simply describe what we want a Copilot to do and the knowledge that it should have, your enterprise business data or external sources and so much more. So let's check it out in action. With Microsoft Copilot Studio, new refreshed look, creating and testing Copilots has become incredibly simple. To get started with Copilot Studio, start with copilotstudio.microsoft.com on the homepage. We can describe in everyday words what we would like the co-pilot to do. I can view a list of recent co-pilots. We can also start with a template. We've been provided with a variety of pre-built co-pilot samples for departments and industries. Simply select the template, configure basic details and click create. We can also access learning resources like documentation and learning paths. So let's go ahead and describe our copilot needs in everyday words. Click submit. This is the new conversational builder experience for creating copilot. Here I can answer questions about the copilot that I plan to build. And on the right hand side, I can observe a summary of what the large language model is interpreting based on my inputs. What is the specific tone I would like the copilot to operate in? Now, if you're not sure about what that means, I'll want this copilot to have an informative tone. Next, it says, where should the copilot find information from? There's a website for the US Department of State that has a lot of good information about visa requirements, travel advisories, and more. So that's the website that I would like the copilot to get information from. So I'll simply plug in that website URL. I can also provide additional websites for providing weather related information, leverage the specific website. It goes ahead and provides an option for me to test the copilot experience. Now, at this point, the copilot is not yet created. What are the visa requirements for India? And copilot goes and grabs the information that it has acquired from the external website. And this takes me to a reference page there that has information about the visa requirements needed for traveling to India. I'll go ahead and click create at this point. So this will start setting up my copilot. Here I am in the copilot builder experience. In the overview tab, I have the details about my copilot. I can edit this. I can change the name, upload an icon, save, knowledge. These are the two websites that I provided information for. Note, there is an option here that allows AI to use general knowledge as well. How long is the flight from Houston to Mumbai? Knowledge. If I click on add knowledge, this is where we can start grounding our copilot with data. Data that can come from public websites. It uses Bing search to get that information. Documents. Here, I can upload files and then Copilot will scan through those documents and provide responses based on the content of those files. I can connect to a SharePoint URL or a location on OneDrive. This uses graph search to return those results. One of the new options is to ground data for Copilot directly from Dataverse. 
This connects to Dataverse for your current environment. Here is an example of a copilot that I have grounded with data from my Dataverse tables. You simply select Dataverse and it will list out all the tables in your current environment. You can pick the table, hit next, next, and click add. So let's ask a question against our data set. How many projects are currently in flight? The response, there are currently 14 projects in flight. Now it has a link here that opens up my model driven power app that shows all the project information. If I filter this by in progress, you will note that there are 14 records. Microsoft Fabric One Lake coming soon. So you can literally ground knowledge from any of your available data sources. Actions. Actions that allow us to connect to the entire connector ecosystem, thousands of connectors that we can connect to, custom connectors, leverage power automate flows, and more. We have the MSN weather connector that gets the forecast for today. I'll select the specific connector. It goes and creates a connection using my account. End user authentication. Do you want to use the logged in users authentication or do you want to use the copilot authors authentication? So you have both these options to control the connection. From a configuration standpoint, here's the name of the action. Description is what Copilot will use to know when it has to use this action. So it's important that you give your description clearly. I'll click next. Inputs and outputs. This as well, we can configure. One of the inputs it requires is the location. It's going to dynamically fill it with the best option by interacting with the user. For units, instead of asking this from the user, I also have the option to preset this. So I'll set a value, click confirm. I'll go and pick Celsius, click save. That's the setup for my inputs. Outputs, this connector provides several pieces of information. Once again, I can edit, pick and choose which outputs I would like it to provide. And right at the bottom here, display, AI will dynamically generate a response based upon the information that it gets from these outputs. If you want to provide your own specific response, we can also do that. We can give our response in a standard message format or even leverage the power of adaptive cards. I'll pick the standard message format here provide a bulleted response. I'll go to insert variable. This action will output responses. One of the details that this connector provides is a summary. There is day summary and night summary. So I'll pick day. And on similar lines, I'll pick weather information for the night. I'll click save. Next. I'll hit finish. And just like that, within a matter of a few minutes, I've created something known as a plugin action that the copilot can leverage to respond to the user. The trigger is powered by copilot. Enable your copilot to respond with the best combination of actions and topics using generative AI. I'll head over to the generative AI settings for my copilot. And here I'll change this to generative AI. I'll click save. Change is saved. Let's ask questions. And one of the options here while we are testing is to open a conversation map to follow along the testing process. I need visa requirements for New Zealand. It provides a response based upon the website that I added as knowledge for my co-pilot. 
I need weather information for Auckland. This time, co-pilot leveraged the power of Gen AI to decide that it's going to point to my action that leverages the MSN connector to get those details. And here's the response. I need seven day weather information. Topics. We have the option to create our own custom topics that can be triggered by Copilot. And these topics as well, we can create by simply describing what we need with Copilot. Or we can build these from blank. Because I have Gen AI selecting which topic to trigger, notice the trigger here says triggered by Copilot. And the description plays a key role in deciding whether the specific topic will get triggered. So let's say my organization is offering discount codes. If users are traveling to certain countries, I've simply described my topic here in natural language. Next, I'll go and ask a question from the user. The response. We have a list of entities that we can choose from. One of the pre-built entities is country or region. I'll go ahead and select this. The response is being stored in this variable. I can rename this. So that includes the country information. And right after this, I'll add a condition. Condition to check if this variable is equal to Let's say India. I can also add multiple conditions here. Australia. In that case, I would like to provide a message. The message info to provide this in the form of a basic card. For the image, I'll point to an image on the web. You can also add a button. This one will open a URL. I'll call this get codes. For all the other countries, I'll give a message that no discount codes are currently available. And click save. Let's test our copilot. I'll say check discount codes. Which country? I'll say Australia gets me the discount codes. You can click on get codes. That will open the URL. Analytics provides deeper insights into what the copilot is doing, how Gen AI is responding, where adding new and updated knowledge sources would benefit the copilot. Channels publish our copilot and make it available to various channels. I'll start with the authentication settings for my copilot. So under security, we have authentication. Authenticate with Microsoft option. So it uses enter ID auth. For my scenario, I'll pick no authentication and click save. Back to channels. My copilot is not yet published. So I'll first click publish. I'll close this. The action will continue in the back end to publish the copilot. And we have various channels through which we can make this copilot available to our end users. The demo website and simply copy the URL, fire this in my web browser. And here is my travel assistant copilot. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.